Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Hold a hissing cockroach in your hand. Behold the beast with a thousand legs. Look in terror at the Goliath bird-eating tarantula. All this and more can be found at Dr. Entomo's Palace of Exotic Wonders. So enter if you dare. It's got a circus sideshow feel to it, and it really emphasizes the wonders, the, the extremes of the entomological world of insects and spiders. Lots of exclamation points and, you know, superlatives are used. We are standing right here at the opening of the Dr. Entomo's Palace of Exotic Wonders. It's a circus sideshow themed educational entomological wonder. In Dr. Entomo, there's also a section on, it's called a, a rogues gallery, and there's a lot of insects that have been accused of a crime and it's up to you to figure out based on the evidence whether or not they're guilty. Well I have one of the inmates in our rogues gallery here. This uh, inmate here awaiting trial uh, is accused of injecting venom and murder. There's nothing in the exhibit that I would say is deadly um, but there's plenty of things that would hurt if they bit you or they stung you. Their fangs are kind of like uh, the size of sewing machine needles, and they do inject a little bit of venom, but its, it's potency is not enough to really you know, harm us. Rose-haired tarantulas can actually make good pets. Dwayne Tolifsrud had one named Rosie for more than two decades. The exhibit also has a whip scorpion that brings back memories of a San Diego Zoo encounter for Tolifsrud. First, I was terrified. I was like maybe five years old or so. And I said, ah, that's awful. But then we, as I started getting to know it a little bit, um, the, uh, the person said, here, you can get to know it and handle it a little bit. And all of a sudden, I fell in love. Uh, they don't sting. However, their big defense is, and I love this, they can spray acetic acid out their butts. That's something no kid can resist. And so I was holding this thing that just moments before, I had a horror of, and now it was like one of the most amazing things I had ever seen in my life. And that's kind of like what we would like to have people experience here with this exhibit. At the opening of the exhibit last week, kids like Colin Farrar, who came dressed as a cockroach, were riveted. Well, I'm seeing this one cockroach removing. What we do here is that we try to uh, dispel some of the myths and misconceptions that people have about uh, insects and their kin, and, but in a way that's fun and colorful and very, very family friendly. Tickles. I took delight in holding a millipede whose bristly legs tickled as it walked on my arm. They have little pores on the side of their body that will leak out hydrogen uh, cyanide. Well, some of them do. Some of them are other noxious compounds. It's really smelly. It, it tastes terrible. And here's one piece of advice. Never, ever, ever lick a millipede. Got it. I would also avoid picking up one of these when it's angry. Oh, yeah, he's bad. That is a threat posture. <laughs> Safely behind glass, these emperor scorpions show off their skill at fluorescing under UV light. The compound inside of the exoskeleton that causes them to fluoresce does break down over time, so if you find a very old scorpion, it's not going to fluoresce. For me, it's, a, it's that sense of wonder, because that's what makes my brain turn every day, is that there is, that life is amazing. And, and I think this exhibit shows you that bug life in particular is really amazing and it's really cool and it really is filled with um, lots of exclamation points. And that's the kind of punctuation you'll find a lot of at Dr. Entomo's Palace of Exotic Wonders. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.